Hey viewers, today's equipment autopsy is the uh, Heath Kit model uh, IM32 vacuum tube multimeter. This one's in uh, quite a bit fairer shape than the uh, other Heath Kit mul multimeter, the uh, IM13. No crack on the display and uh, very few scratches on it. The switches work good. Uh, not too much on the exterior of it. So uh, I will open it up and we'll have a look inside. So just like the other one, there it is vacuum tubes and it's got a 12AU7 and a 6AL5. Like say these, there's all vacuum tube multimeters, and their internals are built very similar to each other. So they, they all do the same thing. So you got your step down transformer to run your tubes. You got your your uh, adjustments for your ohms and zero adjust. Yeah, you your multi layer selection switches. Your other switch and. This one's got a battery in it. I put that in there. It's not corroded or nothing. Um, little little cap there. 150 volts. 20 microfarads. The other one is 0 0.047 microfarads. 1500. No, 1600 volts DC. That's a big one. Other than that, there's not too much to show you. I'll, just like the other one, I'll plug it in and uh, you can have a look at the tubes as they light up. Um. There we go. They're both glowing. Again, like the other one, it's got to warm up before it'll work properly. This one hasn't been restored either. So the meter's kind of doing its own thing right now. <laughs> See, that shouldn't be full. That should be down at zero right now. It went on DC. It's negative. So there's there's some components that you need to replace. The cap should be replaced. And well, assuming everything else is working good, including the tubes, a nice healthy glow on them, um, there shouldn't be too much else I need to do. I've already cleaned all the switch contacts and everything. See so a nice shine to them again. I mean, even the light still works. So, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the IM32 Heath Kit vacuum tube multimeter. Thanks for watching.